So some things that we look at at the outset are just how is an arena doing? So there is a, there is a kind of home screen that has how, how the, the roll up of all the students in the arena are doing in terms of attendance and, and just pure task output. So there's a bar graph that shows the attendance and over that is, is, a, um, is a line graph that does just what's the output of the arena. But what we're able to see then is any trend lines. If an arena is trending down, we can go and talk and see like what's happening. Um, is this expected? Is this, you know, is, is everybody on like a capstone? Like what, what's happening? Um, and maybe it's an attendance intervention or maybe if the line is going down, maybe it's an academic intervention. We don't know, but we're able to monitor and, and just see and then go ask questions. Because for us, the purpose of data is A, to be actionable, and B, to be useful. Um, sometimes you have uh, data that is just abusive. Um, and that, for us, is not the point. It's to then, f that's one piece of data. We need to find out now why. So, but it allows for open conversation to see what, what is happening. So there's that screen. We're able to see uh, that in comparison to other arenas. Like if, if all the arenas are like sort of here and one is here, um, that might be like additional training that might be needed or Maybe they just didn't have all their kids yet, or a bunch of kids graduated, and so the total numbers would be down. Um, but it allows us, again, to, to dig in. Um, we're able to see how many revisions are happening, what revisions are happening, which helps us go back in at the end of the year and even alter our curriculum. Because if a given task is always getting revised, no matter who's teaching it or who what this, who the student is. That's not the fault of the student nor the teacher. That, there's a problem with the task. We didn't either scaffold up to that task well enough or the task itself is not clear. So um, we're able to pull that kind of data out of it, like what should be, how, you know, how do we go about fixing our curriculum, um, but also are we hitting the targets that we're hitting because we're actually getting st student work that we can look at. We can literally do like digital walkthroughs and see like, is the quality of this assignment or these several assignments what we were basically looking for when we wrote the curriculum? And if not, why not? Um, and then are there any happy accidents within that, um, which we also look for as like some brilliant, awesome thing that a kid said or a teacher said or did uh, that we didn't anticipate. And we actually look for those um, because if those aren't happening, whatever system we're doing is probably not actually sustainable over five, six, seven years. So if we, if we don't see happy accidents, we actually pull back and be like, why, why did we just see exactly what we thought we were going to see?